Hello, hello. This is a test for six different seal marks. I have almost baseline for everything. I have 12 arcane instead of 10 for the uh, dragon communion seal. Otherwise, I have baseline faith for the aspect of personal spells at 27 because I will be testing using Aspect of the Crucible Horns. It's easy to hit and consistent. I have Godfrey Icon to increase the damage just because, the Radagon Icon to make it a bit faster, and these four just so that I can get enough faith with drinking my flask to actually have 27 faith since I have six base. As far as previous testing goes, this is the order that they are in damage, claw mark seal because of the strength scaling most likely, golden order seal, which requires a 17 intelligence, if you don't use intelligence at all you're probably not going to get that. The finger seal afterwards, baseline seal, very little requirements, you will definitely have 4 strength and 10 faith if you're doing a faith thing. Afterwards is the gravel stone seal by just a slight amount. I don't have the baseline requirements for it without drinking the potion. The giant seal after that, and then probably because it scales best with arcane, and my arcane is too higher than the baseline for it, the worst is the dragon communion seal. These are all at 18 or plus 7, if the math is correct, 2.5 per level for somber smithing upgrades would make a plus 7 a 17.5, which is the closest we can go to a claw mark seal without making both or all of them plus 20. I shouldn't have any damage increases other than the Godfrey icon, though I'm not testing damages. So starting off with the best seal. Mark seal, and we get 987. Afterwards, we go to the seal, and I have missed. I am attacking the semi down ones because it gives consistent damage. It will have unsuspected damage. We have 769 for that. Third one, finger mark seal, we will get 695 going to reset at the site of grace. Continuation of testing. We're going to start with the well, start with the gravel stone seal and then continue to the other two. The worst three for the statistics that I have. The gravel seal is going to be 686. The giant seal is going to be Seal's going to miss because I was stepping out of place. 670. Then finally, the Dragon Communion Seal is going to be 606. Now that one is doing the worst because my Arcane is the lowest out of all of the stats required. And the Beast Claw Seal is doing the best because of how high my strength is. Just a short demonstration. Walmart about, well, about seals and aspect of the crucible. Where you, which hand your seal is in actually affects how the casting goes. So if you use a right hand seal, it'll apply the charge to your left shoulder. Whereas if you use a left hand seal, it'll apply the charge to your right shoulder. The same can be said for the tail. Right hand seal will swipe left to right, whereas left seal will swipe right to left. Now, I am not actually certain on Crucible Breath. I think it looks like right hand seal makes the left hand side of your sack smaller, whereas left hand seal makes the right hand. Nope, they look exactly the same actually. So it does not matter for Aspect of the Crucible Breath. Whichever side your seal is on, it will do the exact same animation. No changes. But I think it's really cool that the tail swipe and the shoulder charge are just in reverse, or whatever, from whichever seal you use, whichever hand you use to use your seal. I just think that's really cool.